Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to your favorite series, Guess the Elo. Now, I know that this episode had a very dramatic title, and for that, I sincerely apologize. I just really wanted you to click on it. And the bad news is the fact that it's really hot now in New York City, so I will be retiring from wearing hoodies. Let's get into the games. Gotham Sub begins with E4. Fantastic. One of the best moves. One of the best first moves. Pawn to C5, the Sicilian defense. Knight C3. This is uh, aiming for a closed Sicilian. Uh, Knight F3, D4 would be the open Sicilian. Okay, does anybody know what this is called? YouTube, Twitch. This is the Grand Prix attack against the Sicilian defense. This is one of my favorites. I'm planning a YouTube video in the future where I'm, I'm waving a flag and there's cars driving by, you know? The Grand Prix attack. Knight C6, Knight F3. The idea is that you will trade your bishop for this knight, play D3, castle, and you'll have a nice pawn wall and you'll advance it and you'll have a big attack, okay? Knight F6. That's already an inaccuracy because in the opening, you guys need to be careful and stop putting your knights where they can be attacked by pawns. That move does not happen. Instead, we get the standard move. Uh, is that just a free pawn? That might be too dangerous to take. Because then you get hit with d4, then you take d4, then you lose your queen. Then you end up on guess the elo. So a6, take it, okay. d3, great. Okay, I really like this so far by white. This is really good. Shout out to Grapefruit, thank you for the $5 donation. Um, h3 is good. Now here the standard attacking plan is queen e1, queen g3. This is the benefit of having played the move f4 is you have this. But black is playing really well creating queenside counterplay, so this is very smart. Okay. It's a very good game so far. Okay, I wouldn't go there. I don't like that move. Uh, I would go queen e1, and I think queen e one's a little bit more direct. Yeah, black is playing very well. Okay, now, million dollar question. Do you take, do you ignore, or do you push? You have to push. It's the only move. If you open the position, black of course takes with knight. They could take with pawn and go d4. Um... Because you don't want to give the bishop any scope. You don't want to... You, you want to close the position against bishops, okay? Uh, here, probably, the move, the best moves are, like, b4 and d4 to, like, try to close the center. Uh, queen e2 is not bad. d4, of course, block. There's some position where the move f5 is going to be very good. Oh, man, f6 is a good move. Computer doesn't like it, but it's the human move. Now, you know what I would do here if I was playing black? I would do the alpha 0. I will play gf6... King h8, rook g8, and rook, rook, rook pressure. Except alpha 0 wouldn't do that because it's plus 1 according to Stockfish. But maybe not because it evaluates positions as even better than Stockfish. Takes, takes. Okay, knight f6 is bad because you've just given yourself a weakness. I think, I think just knight g5 and how do you guard the pawn? Okay, that's not a terrible move. Okay, now, now we're making some strategic mistakes. Black 100% should take because that results in white having a blocked e-file. You see? There's a blocked e-file, okay? That's why, that's why black should be taking on e4. Okay, knight e5 is not a bad move. I, okay, okay, okay. T uh, all right, knight g4. This is a very good, oh my god, knight takes f6 in between move. Switch and zook to play bishop. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that's a- what is this game? Yo, someone's gonna lose very soon. How is this not losing for black? Wow, I guess black is safe. Oh, rook f1, uh-oh. Oh, 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 how is- How is- I will go h4, just go like h4, h5. h4, h5, just bang by h4. And then if they keep it h5, and if they keep attacking hg and the game is over. Oh my goodness. Uh-huh. Wait, that's mate. It's mate in one. Black played rook e7 to play rook f7 and just completely forgot about queen f8. A beautiful 30 move game spoiled by mate in one. Wow. Uh. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. That game had no blunders except rook e7. Like, up until this point, neither side made a, made a serious mistake. Wow. We're off to a good start. Normally a queen gets hung immediately. Uh, Jesus. Okay, knight f6 is an inaccurate move. Um, the opening had some hiccups. 
Like H three rugby, like what is rugby one? What is rugby? Rugby one's no good. I don't understand rugby one. I mean, actually, yeah, like I kind of like skim past like like H three and rugby one. But what is rugby one? Okay, so what are you? What is this move? <laughs> if any Spanish speaking viewers are confused, I'm I'm not referring to the guy as cheese. I'm referring to the username. Super GMs played rugby one. No, they did not in that position. What? Is, no super GM has played rugby one in this position. Stop it. This is a weird move. Um. Yeah, a few weird moves. I'm inclined like 14, 1500. Rook B1 is not the theory. You guys are you guys are trolling me. Nah, stop. Uh the sides played very safely and very logically for a while. For a while. Uh, for a while, they played very well. So I'm actually, I'm thinking like 15, 1600. There's some things like, I don't think a 1500 plays Rook B1. But you never know. It could be an intermediate player feeling enlightened. Um, Super GM Ben Feingold has played Rook B1. Yeah, you wrote that joke like six times, man. It, you could write it seven or eight times. It still won't be funny. This is what we do here. We, we roast viewers. Uh, I'm going to say like... Ay, 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 Oh, man. There was some really nice maneuvering here. I'm going to say like 1,600. Like 15 to 1,600. 1,550 to 1,650 is my range, okay? That's my range. Here we go. Ho, 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 ho! 1,606 versus 1,618. Ho 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 ho! Hey! We're off to a good start. Hey. Oh. Nah, not 16, 16, 16. No, no. 16, 16. No, no, no. This is. See, this is not a 1600 who hung a piece on move six. There were no piece hangs. We. You are telling me that a 16, 18 rated player hung a mate on move 32. Yeah, no. Uh, I mean, that's that's tragic. Also, one minute. Wait, how long did this poor dude spend on Rook? Oh my god, imagine thinking for 20 seconds and hanging Maiden 1. That guy actually evaluated... Because he saw this. He should have played Queen E7. Queso was about to play Queen F6 and take everything. But it's interesting, because Rook E7 doesn't even stop Queen F6, Queen H8. So, yeah. Black Hat's imply I probably only move is Queen E7, which prevents Queen F6. That's a beautiful game, honestly. Like, very, very high-level game of chess. Great game. Excellent game. You should be very happy with yourself. And uh, thank you for the five gifted subs. Okay. Second game. Uh, God, that was, that was a great game. I mean, I normally I farm y'all for content because you hang 36 pieces in, in, like, five moves. But, um, beautiful. All right. E4, C6. And by the way, that's an example of the Close Sicilian and how to play the, um... The Close Sicilian and the Grand Prix attack. Beautiful example. So if you need a, a weapon. Okay, so D3, usually they have to play Knight D2 and then G3, Bishop G2 and turn it into a King's Indian attack. White just has no idea what they're doing. In fact, White is just worse already. Like, okay, now White is like significantly worse. Just take the center. Okay, A3 and D3 already makes me think like 800. If even 800. Okay, great. Um... Take the center. Take the center. Oh my goodness. D3 on one move, D4 on the next move. Why, they can't decide where to put... Okay, so if you just take this bishop and they take, you just take this pawn. I don't actually think that happens. Oh. Okay, this is a, a... Everybody listen up. This is known as a capture chain. Okay? Uh, you take the bishop. This, this is a little calculation exercise. If this, this, this. Good. If this, this, I mean, idiotic. That's not a bomb cloud. That's a very bad acid trip. If this, this, you can take, but then they take your bishop. So if this, then this, then you take the queen. They're going to take your queen. You can take the knight, or you can take the pawn, and then come back, and then this knight is going to just, like, stumble out. So I'm fairly certain that in this position, the best thing to do is to take and take. But let's see what happens. Okay, takes, takes. Now, don't take the knight. Save your bishop. What are you doing? 
Bro, respect the bishops respectfully. Respect the bishops respectfully, okay? What is that? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Now we're good. Okay, all right. Oh, look at this indecisiveness. Like, what are we doing? What is it? It's like walking like 10 minutes to the pizza place. You open the door and you go, actually, I want Chinese food. So you walk 20 minutes the other way. All right. Bishop e7. Okay, now we have an endgame. This is actually a very interesting game. Uh, probably objectively equal. The way you, you look at these endgames is peace activity, more than material and peace activity, and pawn breaks. And I would consider something known as the minority attack here with uh, d5, and that, that's, that's, well, that's not, it's when you have three pawns versus four on the queen side is what that's called. You have the pawn minority here, um, and I'm not saying minority. Listen, uh, in, in this day and age, you know, you, 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 highlight, you highlight the pawns for the black pieces, you say minority attack, you get canceled for a lot less. Um, so when you have three on four on the queen side, this is from the Queen's Gambit Carlsbad structure. You play b5, a5, b4, and, uh, you know, you attack on the queen side, all right? That's a chess term, all right, before anybody, anybody clips that nonsense out of context. a5, so this is incorrect because now white will play a4, That's, and then you won't get your b pawn going. Uh, but the computer is really enjoying this e-break, and it wants to break open the center. Let's see what they play. a5, knight b3, okay, just... Oh, man. That's an outpost. Okay. Bishop e7. I would, I, would, I would go trade or play e5. Okay. Okay. Please don't go here and hang the fork. Please, okay. Oh, my god. Uh, 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 okay, very good. Nice! Great! You see how white hasn't moved the king out of the center? So you attack the center. This white castle now? This is such a smart move. Yo, why is white not castling? Why are they not castling? Wait, can they not castle? Wait, when did white move the king? Am I high? Oh, white moved the king already. Well. For that, I get necked, for sure. Okay, I mean, I just tried to get a guy to castle, even though it was illegal. I forgot the king moved. Wow, that's a big advantage to black. Look at this. Look at these pawn trades to activate the rooks. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Still a draw, still a draw. But black has some chances. Nice. Black has some chances because the pawns are on the... In fact, I think white lost the game when white played f4. Wow, that is incredible. Look at the eval. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's 0, 0, 0. When you play f4... And they play f5, white is lost. This just shows you how the little details in endgames matter. It's bishop versus knight, and you've isolated your pawns on the wrong color. They're all on the color of the bishop. Because now, white cannot move the king. Because then I will go hunt those pawns down, and you can't move the knight because I'll hunt those pawns down. And now you just walk the king to c4. Like, literally, the next few moves, I don't know if that's going to happen. G6, you have to go here. G great, so the king cannot go here. Oh my goodness. And this is where you get your little endgame lessons. And no, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Why? Why? What are you doing? What is bishop f6, bro? Very, okay. Oh my, please don't take it. Please don't take it. Please don't take it. Okay, very good. Don't hang your bishop. Bishop b2, beautiful. Game over. Incredible. One pawn move. That is very instructive. We're off to a good start. These are good games. Like I said, black has the winning chances here because of how bad these pawns are. Um, black had to activate the king. White had to activate the king immediately and not leave these pawns isolated on dark, dark squares. Um, the opening was not good, but black did not make any serious blunders. Not that they could have because there really weren't a lot of pieces on the board. Um, but like all of this, you see how white played this position? This gives away a lot. This, this one move attack, this is a big problem for a lot of players. Guys, if you know your opponent wants to go e5, what is the one and only move you should be thinking about in this position? f4. This is the only move. This move completely shuts down black's play. e5 will never happen. If g5, just g3, restructure your pawns so e5 doesn't happen, then rook g1 and you're happy. These one, y'all gotta stop with these one move attacking moves that don't do anything. They just, those are the killer moves. That's like, I don't know what to do. What does your opponent want to do? That's what you should think about.
They want to go E5. And since you allowed me to activate all my pieces, you got in trouble. Oh, boy. I am going to say, because of the opening, I want to say like 1,100. That's what I'm going to say. Um, 1,100 strikes me as correct, but Black also played very well. I think Black played like a very... Black played like a 13, 1,400 this game. I'll be very happy if that's the rating, but if it's not, then... Well, then you should be honored because I'm going to say like a, my range is between. Mm, let me think about this. My range is between 1050 and 1150. That's what I'll say. 1050. It, 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 I don't think it's any less than that. Wow. So I was right about Black's play. I was right about Black's play, but white is 1329. So I said Black played like a 13, 1400, and Black is rated 1350. So I was, you know, I know you guys give me, you're like, oh, you always say you're right. I mean, I, listen, I called it, but White played so poorly. <laughs> I was like, there's no way. Oh boy, I'm sorry. I should have. I don't want to pull up the random nerds. You guys understand what I'm saying? I want the Gotham sub to play above their rating. If I said that, that this game was 1300, but it turned out to be like a thousand. You know what I mean? I don't want to pull up the random nerds. Also, you're telling me that the dude who's 1300 is playing like this? What kind of a Russian? Well, I guess it's true. Russians are better at middle game and end game. They're not very good at their openings. I don't know. All right, you should be very proud. That was a very good game. And uh, well, turns out you're 13, 1400. After all, I'm very sorry, but I, it was, that had a lot more to do with your opponent than you. Here we go. All right, takes, takes, d4. Exchange Karl Khan, or white has no idea what they're doing. Bishop d... Uh-huh. Okay. Oh my god. If queen f5, queen b2, queen c8 is mate. <laughs> that didn't happen, knight d7. Which is interesting, you know? It's actually kind of interesting. That already gives me a lot of information because black just played this, so... Wow. Okay. B3, good. Both players aware of the threats of their opponents. Ah, that's a terrible move. Oh my god. You might already be losing. Because you, you can get over... over maybe not... Maybe not, because bishop b4, you might have bishop... Eh, you have bishop d2. See, if you can't block this with a bishop, you're in serious trouble. Okay. Fair. And then you hang the knight. You don't even get pinned! And you hang your knight? This is what I'll never understand about... In, like I don't like y'all be like putting attacks on pieces and then just not taking them. Like I just although 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 maybe black is a genius. Look rook c three here 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 the rook is trapped. Oh well then you would take the knight. You would take the knight because the rook is trapped. It has no moves. Can't go anywhere. But you would just sack it for the knight because you already won a knight. So you get two knights for the rook, which is good. Anyway, they attack a piece three times instead of taking it. Uh. What is this shapeshifter chess play? Also, I love how if you just look for a check here, you win a rook. But bro, what, are, what is that? Bro, what are we doing? Okay, so all this tells me is that Black got extremely lucky when they played this move. Because to be honest, there was a very high chance that they could have gotten mated. There also was a very high chance that that wouldn't have even been noticed. Queen takes before, now we give the check. Okay, very nice. Now we take the rock. Okay, no, no, we don't take this rock. We take a pawn and refork, and then we're gonna go take the other rock. Oh, they take your rock. Take the bishop. Okay. You're just up a piece. Don't hang your rook. Nice. You're just up a piece. Nice. We gotta we gotta go for this stuff here. I would probably go like queen f5 again with the pin or knight g5. Don't get back rank mated though. Nice move, man. Queen e6! Beautiful L noticing the pin 
Now probably just go for the knight. I mean, it's hard to not focus on the king. Yeah, go for the knight. Wow, that is a really unfortunate defending of the... That's very lucky by your opponent to spot that. I wouldn't trade queens. You, you, you're still winning, but I'm... Um... Okay, you're trying to get into an endgame where you have a two-pawn advantage? Three-pawn advantage? Fair? What is that, bro? What is this? Why are we going back? Go, bro, go forward, bro. What, what? You're up three pawns, right? Okay, well, of course, black down three pawns trades knights into a rook endgame. And now you just push your pawns. Okay, pick the pawn up. And uh, you can trick them here. Oh no, my pawn! And then you promote. A lot of people will blunder that. And now you have... You have a five-pawn advantage in an endgame. Four-pawn advantage in an endgame. Okay. And for some reason, even though you have five extra pawns, four extra pawns, you are refusing to push them. You are just not pushing them. You are not... Your king is going first. I, your king can get to the end and become a, and become a queen, apparently. It's 2021. Anything is possible. And finally, you play c6. Okay. Oof. Wow. What information do we have in this game? Um... Wow. Uh, the most uh, erratic movement on the queen side I've ever seen. I mean, I don't know what the heck is going on here. Uh, but man, you found some good moves. Like, queen f5 is a good move. So are you, are you guys 1200s that over here had a mini stroke? Or are you guys 900s who over here did a 900 stuff and then proceeded to play very well? That's the question. Are you guys 1200s who had a mini stroke for a couple moves? Or are you 900s that... Oof. Ah, oh, it's a 50-50. I don't know. I mean, I feel like you played really well to be 900. Like, a 900 would have, like, vomited, maybe peed their pants a little bit more, blundered a couple more pieces. I mean, Black's decision to trade knights in an endgame gives me some, some intel... Not hanging checkmate, though. I gotta tell you, not hanging mate is... Oh, man, was that on purpose or was it accidental? Whew. No clue, man. Um... Hmm. I'm gonna say 1,100. I'm gonna say, like, 1,100. But some of these moves, like, Queen B6 is, like, a... Yeah, I'm gonna say like I'm gonna say like 1175 to 1275. That's my range. Okay. Here we go. No. 686. 686 versus 709. Dog. Boss. What? <laughs> nah. No, three minute game, right? Five minute game? Oh my god, what's your rapid? 8.30? Duh, I'm so confused. Bro, are you kidding me? I am so, are you joking me? Y'all both played way above that level. All right, I'm um, next game. You should be very proud of yours. That was crazy. I got that. That was nuts. That was very well done. That was crazy. I'm done. That was that was y'all not 680, bro. Get get out of here. Man probably sent me a game he played on his old account like three years ago. Okay, e4 d5, nice. Uh, either a proud owner of the Gotham Gambit's course, which by the way is absolute. Oh, I'm not on the other overlay. Sorry, didn't have enough coffee. <laughs> Didn't have enough coffee. My bad. Here, let me take a sip. You see how, how little coffee I've drank? Okay. D4. Wrong move. You're supposed to take and play knight f6. That's what you're supposed to do. But, okay. D4. Uh, excuse me? E5 and the knight is trapped. Well, it's not quite trapped if they know how to get it out, but... They're not gonna know how to get it out with c6 coming. So the way you get it out is like c6, d c6, d5, and I think like knight b4. And you protect your knight. But just play e5 and the knight is trapped. Okay. 
I would play uh, I would play GF and E5. Okay, that's why Urine guessed the Elo and I'm looking at the game. I would also reinforce the center with a pawn in this case. But okay, knight is fine. Fine, fine, fine. White is playing terribly. Black is already much better. Why is black why is black much better here? Uh, because black is the Gotham sub, first of all. And second of all, white's pieces. Like, what is this? This th th this smells like um new intermediate player. Like advanced beginner, new intermediate player, just kind of playing moves, not really no real long-term planning here. This is why you guys got to get your openings down, because, like, what is this? Now White's only plan of development is, the, like, does White play that? Oh, well, yeah, you kind of gave him the opportunity to... Oh. Oh, wow. You gonna get your bishop trap, bro? There's something very tricky here. You can play f5. Wow. And if takes, takes. And if takes, rookie 8. That's the problem with having the queen and the king on the same line. You play h5, which is good. I will play f5 here. 100%. Gotta go f5. Gotta go f5, because queen and king on the same line. Gotta go f5. Maybe they watch a lot of Hikaru games with really tight positions and think it's fine. I, I'm not gonna lie, man. That was... That was such overkill of analysis. Like, no disrespect. Like, you, you probably are, like, a very, like, nice guy and, and smart guy. Um, that's like trying to explain a toddler behavior with, like, a... With, like... You know, or like a manual for a rocket science or something. I, 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 that, no, 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 no. White is just making one move. Like, that's just what, you know, white is, no, nope. That's just not what it is. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, yeah, I, like I said, I, I, I don't think that this is how Hikaru plays. <laughs> Thank you, Keso, for the 20 gifted man. I, listen. Don't disrespect my man Hikaru like this, man. <laughs> this, is, this is this is not. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. So White is just keeping this in the center. No development at all. Opening both wings of play for the diag. I mean, just Bishop E5 here wins the game. Is that played? Ah! Bro, what? Like why? 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 You just what is this? What is this? Oh, oh bro, if you gave me twenty guesses in this position, I would never play this move. This move does nothing. Gotham sub, what is this? What are you trying to prevent them from moving it there? And you just take it. What is this, bro? Are you trying to bring your knight back? Is that it? Is that what you're trying to do? What are you trying to do with the move b6? Explain to me. So what if the knight is almost trapped? It's not under attack. And if it gets under attack, then you'll defend it. Bro, you got to think aggressive. Guys, think aggressive. 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 What is b6? You have to think aggressive moves. Bishop e5. Yeah, I got to get more aggressive. Okay, now your queen's under attack. Okay, now you trade. Okay, good. Yes. 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 Oh, that is a good move. Jesus Christ. That... Why are we... Why'd you do that? You don't respect your bishop? Oh, rep repetition? Draw? Dude, why are you not repeating moves? You're down material. You should repeat moves. You're down a rook. Oh my... This is not what I mean by be aggressive. This bozo still has a king in the center. Okay. Okay, you have something really nasty here that absolutely doesn't have to happen. You can take. Take, take, and if they take, you fork their king and rook. However, they don't have to take at all. But just in case you wanted to. Why is there king there? Wait a minute. Cross pin, bishop e4 wins the game. Yes! And Gotham subs drums the hammer down! Yes! Yes! Good man, took his chance. Played at this, see? Beautiful things happen when you get aggressive. Yes? You see? Yes. Here we go. Take it, and it's check. Yes. Yes. Oh! Oh! I'll beat his ass! I'll beat his ass! Oh! Oh! if he takes his bait? Oh! <laughs> bro, that is what happens when you unleash the bees, bro. That is what happens! Do you see? I don't ever want to see another goddamn B6 in my life. Everything in this game went downhill after you played this move. And the second you got aggressive, the second you got aggressive, you just... All right, you know what? I told you to take the draw, and that's the right thing to do, but I respect you for not taking the draw, okay? I respect you. It's not the right decision. Absolutely not. But... You wouldn't have won if you had taken the draw. If you take the draw, I already necked myself. I'm not going to neck myself twice.
Very nice. Um, now it's my turn to guess what rating this was, okay? Um, mm, man, some of these moves, man. Uh, Spotting this is a nice one. 1300? Wow, 1300? I have no idea. Well, I say that for every single one. Like, the opening was fine, you know? It wasn't anything crazy. White played so poorly. But then White started playing really well. But then White played so poorly again. Say, like, I'm say like, uh, 8900. Ah, uh, but I just said 1300. Jeez. <laughs> I have to sneeze. Oh, my goodness. Um... Man, but for spotting bishop e4. No, I'm gonna I'm, I'm say 870 to 970. That's my guess. That's my, that's my hot take of the day. Here we go. Oh, I should have went with the first one. 1401. Oh, I should have went with my first guess. I, I really was hoping that it was... Oh, my God. The last guess really messed me up, man. I was 500 points off on the last guess, and this time I was 600 points off. Oh. Okay. I just want you to know, Mr. 1400 from North Korea, you, you, I'm not saying you played like an 800. In fact, it was much more your opponent who I thought might, might have contributed to this. But somehow I was just... Your opponent, just all of this was so weird... And then, I don't know, it was just such a, I don't, in, okay, uh, uh, I'm sorry, don't quit chess because I called you an 800, okay? Quit chess because I called you a 600. What was the accuracy? You don't want to know, I, you know, last game. All right, let's end on a good note. D4, all right, London, good. What is this? Why? I never say to play this move. What? See, this is, this is my thing. Why are we putting our bishop out there? Like, for what? Yeah, I yeah, really just don't like your bishops, man. The London bishop is supposed to go on d3. That is where it goes. So we can, like... There's the same people who are like, I watched the Gotham London video, and I played it in a game, and I keep losing. So Gotham is a terrible YouTuber. Like, no, bro, I never said to do this. C3, like, go here and put the bishop on C2. Put the bishop on C... What is black doing? That This is a simple counting exercise. In fact, there is something even more vicious here. You can take the knight. And then it actually turns out that white is a genius for putting the bishop on B3. You see, moves are bad in chess, but only if opponents take advantage of them. You understand? So other, otherwise, white just, you know, is a genius. But this is not a great move. But at, at lower elo, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because ultimately the game will, will, will develop, you know, will develop as it develops. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And it turns out that that bishop, after all, was MVP. I said to put the bishop on d3, and that bishop won a knight, a rook, and another knight. There you go. Nope. I'm not necking myself out of pride. You're not supposed to put your bishop there. I don't, I, you know what? I'm not doing it. I'm not. No. No. Like I said yesterday on stream, I started necking myself. And now you guys want me to neck myself for everything. Oh, Gotham ordered avocado on his burger and he didn't get avocado. Neck yourself. You know, I was like, uh, anything. Oh, Gotham put in coins for 28 minutes into the laundry machine and his clothes are not dry yet. Oh, neck yourself. Like, yo, y'all. Okay, wow, this was a, this was the sh one of the, sh I mean, we don't even have to. Okay, we don't have a lot of information about this game. We have White butchering a London, uh, but then proceeding to just be solid, very solid, and Black just self-destructs. Um, who gets avocado on their burger? Avocado's healthy. I, I would eat avocado on anything. I would eat a chess piece with avocado on it. Avocado's great. But some people don't like it. But 
I love avocado. I would get avocado on anything. Also, yeah, just because you go to Chipotle and eat steak with extra cheese and sour cream and no vegetables doesn't mean I can't put avocado on things. Avocado is mushy disgrace. So is your brain. Anyway. Man, I'm gonna say like, I'm gonna say like 1100 to 1200. 11 to 1200 is this game. It's giving me the... Although, although the, 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 the disastrous blunder of this move makes me think actually 1000 to 1100. Say 980 to 1080. My 100 point range. Here we go. 980 to 1080. Even lower. Even lower. I, I, I actually didn't slam in anger. I slammed in celebration. And then I realized that Mr. Lay in the pipe laid the pipe. But. All right. It was a solid 900 game. I mean, bro, I don't blame you. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Like, yeah, 900. Stop putting your bishop on B5. I don't, I don't know why you're doing this. This is not. Stop it. But good game. Your opponent. Let's see how long. Okay, this is another thing I will never understand. This is a 15 minute and 10 second bonus game, okay? It's a, it's a rapid game. When Black plays the move E5, Black spent 1.6 seconds of an already surplus 37 seconds. Black has more time on the clock than they began with, and they spent less than two seconds on a move that resulted in the catastrophic decimation of their position. This is why you guys don't improve at chess. That's the random nerd. That's not even the Gotham sub. Y'all all like, I'm not getting better at the game. You bozos are playing 15 minute games and have 16 minutes on the clock and are down nine points of material. Stop doing that. You are hindering your own progress the way you play the game.